Welcome back to another video. We got an insane mud coming in hot on McDevil. I'm so excited to show you guys this. It's gonna absolutely blow your hair jumps out. Like here's the this video. It is a seriously beautiful day out here at Premier Complete Auto Care. I'm so excited to have the Corvette back. We have some insane mods. Well, and the one insane mod in particular, I'm so excited to show you guys. It looks so good. The best way I can explain this car is it's just so absolutely toxic. Like, the, the car breaks constantly. It gives my, it makes my heart beat too fast. It makes me feel scared inside. Evan, let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right, Evan's going to give us the... Oh my gosh! Dude, Evan, my guy. <laughs> so we just installed a two-step and no-lift shift. It's got the N2MB watt box, something like that. Watt box, wide open throttle, baby. Anyway, wheels, new wheels for the wide body are on the way, also featuring a test fit coming up to a video near you. But as we saw in the last video, the test fit went absolutely swimmingly. We've got the new Corbeaux in there. Also, very excited to show you this. The new lip is officially on and it looks so much better. The fun with this car just doesn't stop. The new seats are looking so fresh as well. Mega shout out to Corbeau. These seats fit so perfectly. They were a little bit wide for this chassis, but they fit like an absolute glove. So there's a little bit more work up front to get them to fit just right. But now that they're in, they're a little bit wider than most race seats that you find in like C6, C5 Corvettes, but they are so, so comfy. And these side ball strings are just absolutely insane, which is dope, because we got a thousand horsepower, and now, <laughs> now we got two step. <laughs> yes! These are just the kind of things that make the car fun. I call them like, party tricks almost like obviously they have like a legitimate use launch control is sick <laughs> i'm so sorry all the neighbors that live here like i have it set at 5500 bald eagles right now which is way too high for this car a thousand horsepower rear wheel drive 5500 rpm launch control is absolutely unnecessary it's just gonna spin the tires but it sounds sick now the flat foot shifting on the other hand has a legitimate purpose it's gonna hold the rpms at uh, roughly around 5,000 while you're shifting it's gonna provide an ignition cut so you can keep your foot flat to the floor and hit that next shift like so <laughs> so like each one of those shifts my foot is pegged to the ground obviously I'm shifting a little bit slower cameras in the hand enter excuses but it just makes those shifts that much snappier that much quicker equaling hopefully a few more W's next time at the roll races. This car is so stupid. I figured out I really, really have to and should be keeping traction control on every time I get on it, especially with the camera in my hand, because I don't want to lose control, end up in the bushes or the trees or somebody's fence, which let's be real, there's a very legitimate chance of that happening. <laughs> Everybody. Do it again! <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, <laughs> isn't that so crazy? <laughs> dude, I, I didn't know Corvettes were this cool. Like every time you bring this thing to the shop, it's just like it has blows a, my mind. It has a new party trick. Mind boggling. I know. Levi's kind of the same thing as me. Like, I've always grown up with like JDM cars and stuff like that. We're at 8080, so he just drives JDM cars all day. Dude, Corvettes are so sick. That's probably the coolest sound I've ever heard a car make. <laughs> like, that was unreal. Easily one of the craziest things about this car is that you can just feel it at a stoplight. It just feels like you're on a, feels like you're on a boat at sea, mate. The whole thing's just twiddling like this back and forth. Wait for it, there he is. What's up? Yellow. Yellow! Check this out. <laughs> it's the two-step, she's back! <laughs> Let's go! All 
on the M6, baby. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> it sounds just like it. Oh gosh. Oh, it doesn't sound good. We gotta check. Oh gosh, reduced engine power. Uh, okay, check engine light, service traction, okay. Shut her down. Shut her down, Chet. Really? Really? This is how today is going. I swear to the heavens above, if this motor blew up again, I'm going to be so mad. We got... I don't see... Oh! Oh, we broke a belt. We, uh... Oh, okay. Well, that's not that bad. Okay, we got, we got belt fragments here. Oh, my gosh. We've got a pulley off. Dude, what the freaking heck? I literally just replaced this alternator. Pulley just flew off. I wonder if this thing's hot. It's probably hot. It's uh, ooh, it's a little toasty. Ow. I don't even want to talk about it. this. Is a mess over here. All sorts of, dude. Really? Really? You know, in a way, this feels kind of metaphorical. My life is completely falling apart. We got pulleys flying off. We got broken belts. Fortunately. At least I hope the motor's still fine. All right, so quick inventory of items. All the ignition coils are here. There's no visible gaping holes in any of the intake manifold, any of the block. If we check underneath, doesn't appear to be any oil underneath the car, which is good. We do have the damage to the hood here, and it looks like it did, it did hit the paint right there on the other side. Oh no! I don't know if you can see it on camera. There's actually a dent here and the paint cracked. Uh, yeah, there it is. Look at that, right there. Dude, what the flipping heck? Seriously, that would be my luck. I'm pretty sure whatever nut or whatever was holding onto the front of that came off. This came flying off with it. Belt broke, hit the hood, and now we're, now, now we're here. It feels like my whole life is falling apart in front of me and there's only one thing that can make it better. No, not the frazzle. Yeah, it's, it's not really working. Oh man. Okay, there's a lot of good news and a lot of bad news here. Bad news, car did a big boo-boo, did a big no-no, uh, alternator broke. Good news, there's an alternator available at the dealership right down the street. Bad news, it's $800. Good news, there's frazzles right here because I stopped at a gas station. Bad news, frazzles are gone. Good news, there's a 7-Eleven right across the street with Slurpees, baby. Now, as we've learned, we look both ways. We don't want to get hit by a car anymore. Just once is enough for a lifetime, you know? Oh, Jesus. What the hell are you doing? Turn signal. Yes. How are you? Yeah. You know? What a way to start the day. It's only 1 p.m. We already managed to break a car. <laughs> this is the story of my life. Okay, vague update, but update nonetheless. Uh, Slurpee's almost gone. Um, spirits are up though, Slurpee helped. Um, Uber's on the way, new alternator's on the way. We gotta go get the GTR so you can run around and do all this nonsense. And, and then, we'll, then we'll come back. All right, old friend. I will be back. I will avenge you. I'll be back with Parts. Okay. Hello. Hi, Stephen. Yep, that's me. And swapping out one whip for another one. All reliable. GTR. This is. I really feel like this is one of the most reliable cars I own now. Down, down, down. Window. So good. Let's go, boys. Let's go with the red SRT. They're so stoked right now. <laughs> oh no! There she is, all sad and abandoned. That poor sack of crap. I mean, that poor 
super nice race car. Look at this mess, dude. We just got this old girl cut out. Oh my gosh. Why? Why am I the way that I am? Who stands and buy a race car, they said. It'll be fun, they said. This is so much fun. Hey guys, we got it all wrapped up here. Evan is the absolute man, dude. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Get your friends like Evan. Anyway, we're gonna take this back to the shop, leave it there, they're gonna handle it. There's a couple of, like weird little things we got going on with pulleys down there. We're gonna get that sorted and we'll... Uh... This is so stupid, because I was just trying to... Can a guy just shoot some flames and peas? Can a guy just two-step his Corvette and peas? Apparently not, because every time I try to do anything with this car, I blow it up. 2008 Corvette for sale. No, I can't do that, it's not for sale. All right, old friend, you be good, be safe, don't go anywhere. Please don't break while I'm gone. You know, honestly, I'm not surprised. Of course the Corvette breaks again. It's just this vicious cycle of like, I, I would call it abuse, where it's like we have our high points, it's a lot of fun, and then it breaks. And then I fix it, and I spend more money on it, and it's fun again and then it breaks. And if you notice, it's just this, this cycle, and yes, I would call it abuse. I'm praying to the heavens above that it's not anything more serious than just that belt, just the alternator pulley. We'll find out soon, though. Also, garage updates coming very, very soon to a YouTube channel near you. We have some big, big changes coming up for the garage. I'm so stoked to share it with you guys. But as usual, if you made it this far in the video, you're real. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell. And on that note, see you in the next video.